Good morning and welcome to another Kerfuffle webinar. Delighted to have back on again Frederick Benesty from Giraffe360. How are you, Frederick? You okay? Good, good. Can't complain. How are you doing? Well, as you can see here in uh, here in flooded uh, flooded Disbury, we're we're finding it tough just to let everybody know who's been texting. I do appreciate your concerns. Don't panic. We're in a good part of town, as I was just saying to you, Freddie. We're on a lovely little hill, so it's only the plebs that are getting it. But never mind. No, we're all doing well. Thank you, Freddie. And I was just talking to you off camera. You are wonderfully very busy, and you. I, I, I was. I was a bit surprised you seem surprised by it because it seems to me that everything that giraffe is about is actually in demand at the moment, isn't it? Absolutely. It's been since since the first lockdown, it's been a crazy whirlwind year for, for us here at Giraffe. And uh, yeah, things are just taking off left, right and centre. Agents are embracing us uh, day in, day out. So um, yeah, it's it's a good time. It really is a good time. Good, good time, good time in the middle of a bad time. But you know, we can we can do these these complicated mixed messages. Yeah. Life life isn't simple, is it? And we need to get that across to start off with. Freddie, yeah. uh, we've had you on uh, now a couple of times in different formats. But what we're really here today to talk about is that you're keen to get across that you're not just you know, uh, or, or be important one trick ponies. You've actually got three really important services that are that agents are really seeing the value of. Um, and we really want to talk about that today, don't we, in terms of uh, virtual tours, floor plans, and then this last element you've got, which is uh, uh, basically is, is the ability to do remote viewings as well now, isn't it? Is that correct? Absolutely. We feel it was, a, it was a, big, a big gap there for a lot of people who felt like agents didn't want to give certain virtual tours away. They felt like it gave too much away without actually being able to go into the property. But the ability to actually still, one, continue working, run your business, still get people interested in property without leaving them the ability just to do it by themselves. So essentially creating this sort of like Zoom meeting, but without the need for Zoom or any additional software and actually have a meeting inside this virtual tour. OK, which one do you want to kick off with first? And I think what would be useful is if you kind of just give an overview of how of the service itself, how your clients can create it, how easy that is to, uh, to do. Um, and then we'll talk about how potentially they all tie together at the end. No problem at all. So sure. I'm sure you already know this product better than I do by now, after the amount of time we've been together. I do. I'm a bit, you know, I'm a big fan. <laughs> I know. So just for everybody that hasn't seen it, this is the Giraffe 360 camera built in at the top. Is a Sony HDR lens. It's a top of the line lens which specializes in still photography. Uh, this boring black line in there is actually quite an exciting piece of kit. It's uh, called a LiDAR laser. And it's a high accuracy measuring laser. Our floor plans are accurate to 2% error variance. Everything is really done at the pushes of these two buttons just down here, which light up when we put the camera on the tripod. So that's set up complete. Um, to give everyone a run through again from the past, this little button on the left-hand side, this allows you to capture still photography as you would do normally from the corner of the room or a doorway, maximizing the angle. And this other button over here on the right-hand side is your 3D scan. That allows you to capture your high accuracy floor plans and your 270 megapixel virtual tours, which is currently industry leading as far as we're, uh, we're aware. Okay. So at the push of the two buttons per room, three to three and a half minutes of room investment. Um, we then edit and enhance all your photography with our team uh, in our production suite. They edit, enhance everything, deliver it all back to you within 24 to 48 hours. Um, so not only do you get your photos, floor plans and virtual tours, we also then create the virtual remote viewing as well, which is that meeting we were just discussing where you can actually have that agent applicant together inside that virtual tour. And, and you spoke about this last time and I was pretty impressed that you were getting those back normally within 24 hours, but definitely within 48 hours. Are you still able to, uh, are you still able to meet those kind of internal SLAs even given the increased demand? Yes, uh, absolutely. We've been future-proofing this uh, as much as we can. The team in um, the team in head office are just unbelievable. They've taken our, our SLAs and just keep pushing the boundaries. So, yeah, it's more about keeping up with the demand of orders is more the case at the moment, um, which is a lucky situation to be in. So, yeah, that's... And, and while we're on this important kind of area, uh, how easy is it to onboard at the moment? Somebody sees, uh, likes what you guys are doing. How quick does it start to get kind of hit the floor running with you guys? So with us, this is just a standard process. Give us a quick shout. We'll do a demo with you, sign you up. 
Uh, the lead time's currently um, about eight weeks. Uh, we're aiming to bring that down a bit, but there's been a lot of migration from different platforms over to us recently. And obviously yeah. every other agent that hasn't got virtual tours or something like this set up is looking for a tool like ours or similar. Cool. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So talk us through talk us through another of these services then and how again how you you're finding agents using it uh, effectively out there. So a number of agents are looking at this for all different reasons. Um, you know, some people out there are looking to save money on the conventional professional service, uh, where they might be paying 80 to 300 quid per property, depending on where you are and what the size of the property is and who the photographer is. Uh, other agents are seeing this as an instruction winner. As you can see, the camera doesn't look like your typical Sony or Canon or Nikon DSLR. So ultimately it attracts a bit of attention with agents taking this into valuations. They're actually winning instructions off the back of that just by showing them this is what we're going to do. This is how we're going to set you apart from everybody else. This is what makes us get that extra buyer, get that extra, extra different route to sell. And I'm guessing the, the vendors where they're at at the moment will be demanding, expecting that level of digital excellence more than ever before, aren't they? Absolutely. Absolutely. More and more, um, I think we've seen over the last uh, year, Simon, we can agree that the market's been absolutely insane. In some areas, we're seeing record number of offers, record viewings. Uh, uh, everyone at the moment. You there, Freddie? You're just cutting up a bit. Can you hear me now? I've got you back. Got you back on audio. You're just, yeah, there you are. I can see you. your lovely face again. Back Sorry, so a lot of vendors obviously are concerned about running you know, running viewings and letting people into their house. So this is obviously gives them a very good opportunity to get the applicant into the property first with the agent to get that initial feedback, keep the, yeah. keep the applicant interested, and when times are safer to let them back in the property. And, and uh, I'm guessing there'll be a percentage of your agency clients, are they actually charging these backers disbursements back to the vendors themselves as a chargeable extra? Everyone's different. We've got agents who are charging, uh, who are not charging at all. Uh, yeah. Agents who are charging only if uh, only if the client wants to go multi-agency. Uh, one of my personal favourites is they're charging it um, on the basis of withdrawal. So if, for example, you decide to leave the agency within yeah. time, three months, then obviously we'll charge X amount for the added quality and added services that we're running. That's so there are different types of ways. That's a clever angle, isn't it, really, to play on, really, to to, to out that, that stickiness? Absolutely. You know, um, to get quality quality photography, quality marketing, you know, it, it's, it's an absolute standard and a, and a must now. If you want to set yourself apart from other agents, you need to be able to show that you are delivering quality. So this does give you that opportunity, and anyone could use different services as well to sort of give you that opportunity with a, a good eye professional photographer. Yeah. But this gives you that ability to actually offer more than just what a photographer can do or other services can do because we have that remote viewing. And do you have any flavour of what the agents themselves are charging back to the vendors in, in any examples? Do you know, are you able to give any context around that? So obviously uh, off the record, so to speak, um, this is just from conversations we've had. I've, I've heard people, like I said, not charging anything depending on the situation. I've heard... Um, 25 pounds uh because this is actually what the costs for doing a property with us actually works out to depending yep. um and then i've heard 50 80 100 100 quid it just depends so, so, so what's great about it is that you're putting a tangible value on it so whether you choose to use that in negotiations as a fee defender or you are able to charge it back there's something else in your offering that does step you apart from the competition absolutely Absolutely. Yeah. The main thing here is for us on two sides. One, we're offering the highest quality that can be done in this type of service. So number one, the vendor and any landlord and the agency should be, you know, really embracing the fact that we are preparing all their marketing, all their photos, their floor plans for window ready situations is number one. Number yeah. two, from a landlord and from a vendor perspective, you know, they are also being able to not have to host the actual viewings inside their property if they don't want to. Yeah. So these are all little details that just that set us apart. And and people can trust us. They just can trust us to know that we're going to deliver quality. And I spoke just a second ago about in terms of uh, obviously how much more they're being valued now and everything else. 
do you get any uh, do, you, do you get any inkling in terms of what the, what it does in terms of improving click through rates whether that's on the agent's own website or whether this is then shown on the portal i'm guessing it, it can only increase the clickability if that is even a phrase of, of the property but do you have any actual uh, science or stats backing that up so uh, my CEO, Mikas, we've been looking into this for quite some time. So I know that there are analytics behind how many views these virtual tours get. Uh, in some areas, it's, it's quite interesting. In some areas, more than others, you'll have a lot more click through. So you'll have people who are in, in certain areas just really focus on virtual tours um, when they're made publicly available through Rightmove and Zoopla. Um, but then other areas, it's it's not the virtual tour, but then when you speak to the agents, they're saying, well, no, they actually wanted to, to see the property and then they didn't know about the remote viewing. So then they end up having that one-to-one -one remote viewing with the agent. So every area is different. We get the analytics through from Google. Uh, I can't put a percentage on there for you because I don't know and I don't want to misquote. Well, so I, I threw a curveball there. Off the That's absolutely <laughs> fine. But all we do know is that I think there was an increase in virtual viewings or remote viewings. Um, I think it was something like, two thirds of, of property viewings at one point towards the latter stages of last year. So over 60% started to be viewed online. And that was a massive increase from obviously previous years. Yeah. And, and, and I mean, you're going to be biased, but uh, I suspect it's true anyway. I, I, I assume you think all this has done is hasten the, the need, the acceptance for this, the demand for it anyway, so that you're not going to see this fall away post COVID lockdown or anything like that. This is simply now here to stay. Is is what I'm guessing you would you would surmise. Uh, personally, I believe that. I've always believed that tech is is the way forward. Um, estate agency in the past, it's a very traditional area, um, and change has not has not previously been been adapted so much um, at the end of the day it's the most solid solid industry in the world property yeah. but um, it was inevitable that there was going to be some form of changes coming to make life easier to make things moving forward virtual viewings these sort of technologies helping people save money or giving them added quality for less whatever way you want to look at it there was an inevitability on it yeah um, but now with the pandemic um yeah originally you know some people thought this is just going to be be your 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 headache tablet to, to cover you for the headache and then after after the headache goes everyone's just going to go back to normal i yeah. think we've now seen that it's been almost a year and now it's becoming a necessity this is the way forward well certainly, certainly with virtual viewings you're seeing massive uh, efficiency gains aren't you you know actual viewings going down in some cases as low as six or seven down from an average of say 17 you know uh for for 17 viewings for a sale and everything else so that, that you can't ignore those kind of metrics can you uh in terms of efficiency and, and and look it's just desirability clearly it's something that the public want yes you could argue that's the only show in town realistically at the moment but uh i think the convenience element means that it's absolutely here to stay absolutely look people are at the moment obviously some people are really busy with work, some are not. Obviously, they've got their kids to handle, homeschooling. But a lot of people obviously have a bit more time on their hands at the moment. And yeah. people looking at property is inevitable. You know, um, Ryan Serrant said something beautiful. He said, uh, we all know those uh, those buyers um, or those people interested in moving. who will say, yeah, I want to move, I want to move. And then at the end of the day, they're like, I'm too tired. I like this place. I'm fine here. He said, if you ever want to get people to move, lock them in their houses for three months and they'll find every single little detail that's going to want to make them move. Yeah. And by that point, you know that you've got a serious buyer. So people at the moment are looking at property. So more people are online, more people are viewing out of interest or actual necessity, however you want to look at it. Now, the ability to look at property online in more detail than previous mm -hmm. is, is, is key here. Because ultimately, it only generates the opportunity for you as the agency to say, I've actually done 10 viewings today and I haven't even been in your house. Yeah. Yes. Good. Really good point. Um, so talk us through then. OK, so in terms of the virtual viewing element, so we've got the um, you know virtual tours, fantastic, everything else. They feed through, obviously, into that ability for virtual viewings as well. So how, how, how is that part of your service developing then? So it's uh, become a lot more fluid over the last year. It's a very simple process. So in the same dashboard where you just collect your photos, your floor plans, and your virtual tour, um, there's just a one-button click, which is uh, it says remote viewing. If you click yeah. that, 
It opens our lovely virtual tours in full screen for you as the agent. You then just copy and paste the link and send it over to your applicant or to your client or to whoever it is that you're interested in showing. They'll open it up on their mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Yeah. And they'll be speaking kind of like how you and I are looking right now. So they'll see the windows in the top corner where they'll see themselves, they'll see the agent. And the agent can either take the applicant through the property while they speak like we are, or even yeah. give the applicant control of that virtual viewing so that they can walk around, they can go back and forth, look up, down, left, right, zoom in, zoom out. So in essence, the applicant is getting a full show of the property at their leisure, at their pace, yeah. while the agent is there to obviously talk them through every particular detail on the property. And how long have you been? How long have you been doing these? Is this a is this something you introduced a, a while back? Have you always had it in the kit bag, or is it a post lockdown innovation? No, so it was always going to be coming. Um, and uh, when the pandemic hit uh, and lockdown was looming, um, the team made a decision to to release that sooner rather than later. So uh, it started, I think, last year March, um, March or April. I think it was March. Okay. And uh, yeah, it's been improving, getting more solid and, and reliable ever since. So at the time, people could view properties and uh, it was over 90% success rate. Um, but then now I think our reliability just comes down to people's internets now. So, yeah. yes. Uh, and, and again, what you're talking about here is you're hitting it with the, the nail right on the head in terms of convenience. As you mentioned, you, you know, you said actually people have more time on their hands and that's absolutely true. But actually... Um, they are becoming more. Um, they're becoming more demanding, aren't they, of, of needing services as and when they want it. So, so ordinarily, if they were finding it difficult to arrange a viewing, an actual viewing, because the agent was busy or whatever else, there, um, you know, that just isn't an issue with this, is it? Because you can obviously just forward it onto them with much more, with much more, um, mu much more capability around timing. Really, almost twenty four seven, can't you? Absolutely. Absolutely. If you also think about it on that point, the amount of people have realized now that the world is changing. They don't need to be in the office as much, or maybe the companies have decided they're going to cut down their office size. People be in the office one day a week and switch teams around, however you want to do it. People are realizing they don't need to be as close to work as they were before anymore. People in busier cities are, are moving out to more rural areas, more quiet areas to get more space, whatever it is, either more peace and quiet or more space, more value for money. Um, and obviously, to go and do those sort of viewings, if you think about I'm in North London, if I wanted to move out, out, you know, towards your ends or even just further out more towards the countryside, I can't just go and do those viewings just like that. No. So this gives me a good taste to see a lot more property, a lot easier, a lot quicker, and then cut down to my final five, final ten, and then go and view those on a particular weekend or something like that. Yeah, OK. And so we start, again, comes as we're talking here. What, what you were uh, predominantly known for, if I'd asked anyone kind of at a trade show and said, what do you know about Giraffe 360? Unsurprisingly, they would have talked about the virtual tours. But you're much more moving into a space now where actually you're, you're just a digital marketing agency, aren't you, with the ability to deliver a load of different complementary services based around the agent's requirements and where they feel their, their, their audience demographic is, is going to find benefit. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's the reason why we have this this team of editors, this professional editors in house. You know, it's not a small team. We're talking about 40 people, uh, give or take at the moment. Um, a camera is no matter how good it is, it can capture quality. But ultimately, the camera is just capturing data. How that quality is then presented goes through a number of different systems. It goes through a bit of uh, a bit of automation through these uh, learning algorithms that Giraffe 360 has produced. But furthermore, these 40 people are designed and, and built essentially there to make sure that every photo that comes through, every bit of detail on the floor plan, every bit of detail on the virtual tour, these have to be quality. We have to make sure that obviously everything is represented perfectly so that the agent can trust us with their brand. They can put their brand to advertise out. So that's what we're going for. We're going for this, this digital marketing agency style approach. And hopefully to be able, be able to offer more and more services as time goes on within our current offering. Yeah, brilliant. And, and, and the final part of the uh, of the Holy Trinity, as I as I insult all people that are religious, um, what, talk, talk to us about the floor plans that you're able to provide as well. Yep, the floor plans are highly accurate. Um, our LiDAR laser is accurate to 25 meters in radius, 50 meter diameter. So if you've got a room that's bigger than 50 meters, that's probably quite a big commission. But um, yeah, so uh, floor plans are accurate to 2% error variance, so 98% accurate. 
and just very simple to use. It's all ingrained within the 3D scan button. And Freddie, you know, I always say, uh, what if you can test it against me, then everyone will understand it. So talk, talk to me, literally, is it another of these wonderful giraffe? You know, you, do you literally just press the button after you set up and then it whirs around and creates a floor plan? Am I being too simplistic or is that? No, so I'll start it off for you. This is the 3D scan button. Assume we're in the middle of the room where you'd want to feel that you're standing inside the virtual tour. Yep. If you can see the corners of the room, you're going to get an accurate floor plan. The, yep. uh, once you press the button, the hard part is it gives you 12 seconds to do your best Usain Bolt impression and disappear. Yeah. But, uh, off the camera goes. Um, so the first spin is doing 200,000 point measurements with the LiDAR laser at the back of the camera. Uh, and that will give you a floor plan that's accurate to 2% error variance on average. Um, that's already actually finished. It's now doing 18 different angles of HDR photography it's about to do over two spins. Wow. So two minutes and 12 seconds to three minutes, and it will do a virtual tour. It will do your floor plan measurements, and off you go to your next room. And one of the huge benefits, uh, not so much with floor plans, obviously, but in terms of virtual tours is um, that, that uh, investing in some quality kit like that gets away from that horrible goldfish bowl effect you can sometimes get, doesn't it, that uh, other virtual tour, you know, some of the more entry-level ones tend to do? Absolutely. So our, our lens is, uh, Sony HDR lens, is built towards um, still photography, high-end still photography. So yeah. the way that we actually make this 270 megapixel virtual tour is actually by combining 18 different positions of HDR photography. So it's 18 different positions of still photos, and by putting them together, that gives you that highest quality virtual tour without the need for as much curved effect, if you will. Excellent. Well, that's that's fantastic. So that sounds really exciting. And I think, um, uh, you know, obviously you guys continue to invest not just in the technology, obviously the hardware, but, um, you know, obviously your team, as you said on the last on the last webinars we did, you are you are um, you are obviously um, you're, you're investing in the people as well, aren't you? Absolutely. I joined the company two years ago. I think I was um, team number, oh, team member number 17. Uh, and I was definitely the first in the UK other than Mikas himself coming to, to, to move here and move the head offices to, to the UK. But now, you know, two years later, we're over 85 people, I believe. Um, the growth has been phenomenal. But the people behind the, the, behind the system, behind uh, the scenes are just unreal. They're top quality. And if it wasn't for them, this sort of thing couldn't exist to the quality that it is. Freddie, I thought we were. I thought us at Kerfuffle were the only people brave enough to call them by numbers. Come here, number seventeen. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming that's just a sub tagline rather than how you address each other. <laughs> yes, just slightly, just slightly. <laughs> good. Okay, and again, you've been really good. Uh, thinking about our uh, thinking about our Kerfuffle members here, haven't you? You've got a deal on the table to to help them to get giraffe a, a bit better. Could you just give them a bit of an overview of what you're willing? do for them if they if they want to get in touch yes so uh we are maintaining a promotion that we started with you guys it's yep. uh, 399 pounds a month on a 12-month agreement for 16 projects instead of 10 uh no sign-up fee which is normally 499 pounds right. so just subject to delivery charge and if people want to give it a try as well we also have a three-month agreement which is 449 pounds a month instead so some agents use that as a trial yep. not many do but uh, if you want that freedom to explore, to try things out, that's where we are. That's absolutely great. Thank you for that. I mean, it's an interesting one, isn't it? Knowing, knowing uh, how, so many different suppliers' business models, and actually we so often have to have the uh, setup fee in there because, um, you know, it does cost to deploy kit. And yet it is one of those things that agents absolutely instinctively hate. So there's always been kind of this, this bit of a battle, hasn't there? So I, I think where you can be so confident in your service as you guys clearly are, and obviously, you know, wanting, wanting to engage with our, uh, our Kerfuffle members, that that's the best possible time. If you don't like your setup fees, if you want to try a, a quality business like Freddie's got here with Giraffe, you know, reach out to them. And I'll just make the point, you can get in contact with him on social or on their website, all the normal places. Or, of course, I'll just pop up the screen for a minute. We've obviously got their web page here and we've got an I'm interested button as well uh, and it'll forward those, that information on. So uh, please just uh, obviously reach out to Freddie in whichever way you can. Uh, fantastic, Freddie. Uh, in fact, that's almost a tagline we could have, isn't it, for, for, the, for these calls with you? That's, that's absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for updating us again. 
Uh, already looking forward to the next bounce of innovation when we have you on. Well, thank you again for having me. Always a pleasure to chat with you. And uh, I think we need to have those drinks once uh, once we get out. Am I looking that desperate? <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you're not, I definitely am. Yeah, I'll be there. Just to, you let me know where. Okay, mate. Thank you very much. Cheers.